Shabbat Shalom. At the beginning of this Torah portion, Re'e, we find the following words. Re'e anochi noten lifneichem ayom bracha klala. This day I set before you blessing and curse. Blessing if you obey the commandments of Hashem your God, and curse if you do not obey the commandment of Hashem your God. The rabbis had discussed at length what is the blessing and what is the curse. And actually Maimonides, in uh, his introduction to chapter Helek, to, um, to Perek Helek, he says exactly this, you know, uh, he talks about this point that the rabbis, they have difference of opinions. What is really the, the ultimate blessing? Is it to be alive in the, la in the time of the Mashiach? Is um, to have earthly blessings? is to be resurrected with the dead, is to go to the Garden of Eden, is a combination of all the above. Maimonides also suggests that in his opinion the um, ultimate reward is the, um, the Olam Abba, the world to come. In other words, that the soul, our soul is eternal and will live forever in the bliss of, of Hashem. Um, God. I happen to agree with Maimonides. I can relate to all these blessings and I hope that all these blessings will come for me and for you and for your loved ones. But I would like to talk to you about a different approach, which even if you don't agree with Maimonides or with the traditional reading of these um, verses, you would be able to relate to them as well. The verse says, I said before you blessing and curse. Blessing if you obey the commandment of Hashem your God. What is the blessing that Hashem is setting before us? I like to suggest that the blessing is exactly that. A blessing if you obey the commandment of Hashem your God. Hashem has expectations from all of us. The expectations are in the Torah. Some expectations have to do with particular religious commandments that you are familiar with, and many more are related to commandments that make us uh, into better human beings. The expectation of God is that we follow the way of the Torah. And He's saying us, if you fulfill my expectations, if you obey my commandments, then the reward will be exactly that. The reward, the blessing is that you will fulfill my commandments. The blessing will be that you will be doing the right thing. And if you don't follow my ways, then the curse will be that you won't be following my ways. I like to suggest that there is not, that we read this text, at least this is an invitation from me you to do it at least this week and to try this week that we don't see the reward as something outside of the mitzvah itself what is the reward of doing the right thing the reward for doing the right thing is exactly that doing the right thing and I know that you may be wondering so what is the right thing how do I know that this is the right thing so I believe that a good way to begin is the Torah. The Torah is giving us a general idea what, you know, what is the difference between right and wrong. But I also believe that part of the neshama, part of God inside each of us, is our ability to know inside us what is right and what is wrong. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you know when you, you know, if you're honest with yourself, what is right and what is wrong. And you will know that when you do the right thing, the reward is feeling that you are doing the right thing. And I like to suggest that there is no higher reward than that, that feeling good about yourself. 
And we know that when we, God forbid, do not do the right thing, then we do not feel good about ourselves. And that hopefully is going to lead us to change and to improve. I would like to bless all of us and to bless myself as well, that we will be able to reflect on the words of the opening of this Torah portion and to find the blessings and reward for doing the right thing in living a life of righteousness and living a life that is according to the expectations of Hashem, the expectations of our parents, the expectations of the people who raise us well and want us to be every single day better human beings. Shabbat Shalom.